Hey, GearHead's Jeff with Gear Report. That's gear-report.com. Today, let's talk about the gear that you use when concealed carrying a handgun. So things that I like to have, considerations that, that are important to me when determining my concealed carry setup. Number one, you need a belt that's going to give sufficient support so that the weight of the pistol on the belt doesn't make it bounce around, doesn't make my pants sag, doesn't let it shift a lot if I need to run, for example. I don't want to worry about my gun falling out because the belt's too weak. So a good gun belt, that's number one. Number two is a good holster. What I look for in a holster are a couple things. I want retention. Uh, again, I don't want my gun to bounce out if I have to run and jump. We talked about retention comfort. Obviously, if you're going to wear it every day, uh, which, you know, that's what we advocate here. It doesn't do any good to have a gun if you're not carrying it. If it isn't on you, you know, uh, when something goes wrong, it doesn't help if it's still locked up in the safe back at the house. So we want you to be able to carry it. It needs to be comfortable as well. Affordability is kind of important to us. We have kind of a tight budget here, as most review sites do. So we're always looking for the best value you can find. So let's see, we've talked about a gun belt, we've talked about a holster. We need a way to carry ammunition. I carry a Glock 17, that is, you know, 17 plus one is the ammunition capacity. I like to carry one or two additional magazines with me. So we have a means to do that that we'll talk about. And, and we'll talk about some, some extras you can use to make things a little bit more comfortable as well. So let's dive in and talk about, uh, let's talk about the gun belt first. So we'll talk about uh, Bigfoot Gun Belts has sent one of their new, this is a new company, Bigfoot Gun Belts. And it is, I believe it's Big, BigfootGunBelts.com as well. Yes, it is BigfootGunBelts.com. They sent their 14 ounce leather with a steel core belt if you look at it here, it's about a $60 item. $59.88 is their intro price. They've just started selling these. This black leather, it's a quarter inch thick, it's a double layer, has a nice, really large chromed uh, buckle set up here. In the, the bulk of the belt, there is a spring steel core, a stainless steel spring core that goes all the way around. It stops right before the first uh, hole where you can you know, fasten the belt. So it goes all the way around to give you additional support so that your gun isn't going to bounce around too much. Um, and if you're carrying something heavy, a Glock 17 with a full magazine, it, it's kind of heavy. So it gives you support for that. You can see here the Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 3.0 holster. Uh, Alien Gear sent a few of these for us to review and I've really enjoyed it. So let's look at it real quick. Uh, what I started carrying with was the Alien Gear original holster. You see with the leather back, this is what it would look like using the spring steel clips that came with it. You can tell, <laughs> this is kind of worn in. I've worn this a lot. This became my go-to, my absolute favorite holster. Very comfortable right out of the, right out of the gate and remained comfortable more. I wore it. Really enjoyed that. Cloak Tuck, uh, Alien Gear rather sent us their Cloak Tuck 2.0 a little over a year ago to try. Uh, honestly, I think there were some really nice evolutionary improvements in the 2.0. You can go read our review of the Glow Tech 2.0 um, at gearreport.com. I think they missed the mark on a couple things, so they pretty rapidly addressed those issues with the Cloak Tech 3.0, which honestly, I think they did a really good job in identifying what they did right on the Cloak Tech 2.0, because it did not a number of things right, and, and also where they could improve. So with the 3.0, we have a textured rubber uh, backing here that helps with retention. We have the same swappable shells. So you see, this is an example of a shell for a 5-inch 1911. This is a 1911 for a railed 1911, 5-inch. If I want to switch them, it's one, two, three, four screws, take it out, put this in place, put the screws back in. Now I can carry a different firearm. Most semi-automatic pistols will swap. I saw an email from them recently. It said they have 500 different models and for the most part, they're swappable. If you're carrying a small revolver, I believe they have a different cut on the backer so that you, uh, you can't swap. You couldn't take this 1911 shell off and put one on uh, for a revolver 
uh, in most cases. I don't believe they're interchangeable. But for any other big semi-automatics or, or medium or even small semi-autos, pull the shell off, put a new one on, and now you have a holster for a different weapon. They're very cost effective. We like that. Comfort is the big deal here, though. It has a spring steel support on the inside to keep it from flopping around too much. They have a variety of different options on clips. This C clip is what I have found to be the most comfortable and effective and by far the most secure. Only real complaint I had with the old spring steel clip is when I would draw, the rear one would pull loose and the whole holster would pivot up and out. Same thing with the plastic version of the clips, that rear one would still come loose. With these C clips, it is secure. It's not too hard to put on or take off either. What I really like here is I don't have to thread the belt through it. I can actually have the belt already threaded in my pants, put it down in, and then I'll put the top in and then push the bottom in and click it in place and it fits very securely on the belt. Really like that. Alia Gear did a good job in evolving the Cloak Tuck 2.0, keeping the things that worked well, like the, the neoprene backing, changing the front, so instead of pleather like the 2.0, this is a nice textured rubber, uh, and a couple other evolutionary changes that they made to make this even better. This is by far my favorite holster at the moment. Uh, you can see this, this was my EDC holster for quite a while. It doesn't even have a shell on it anymore because it's been retired for the moment in favor of the Cloak Tuck 3.0. So we've talked about Bigfoot gun belts. We've talked about Alien Gears Cloak Tuck holsters. Let's talk about what I did. All right, so uh, Glock 17, there's no mag in here and uh, we are empty. Just so you know, safety is important. Um, in carrying this, there was this textured area rubbing up against my bare back. Oftentimes I'll carry it in summer where this is touching bare skin and that gets a little uncomfortable. Sometimes these sharp edges dig into my back a little bit. Uh, so I actually had a Hogue grip. The Gen 1 Glock 17 that I carried for years didn't have the finger grooves on the front of the grip. So I had a Hogue slip-on grip that was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. But with the finger grooves on this Gen 4, it doesn't fit. So I got a Packmire, I believe is how it's pronounced, I'm not sure, a slip-on grip. A little more springy rubber, um, doesn't feel right to me, and it spins. You know, as I put it in and out of the holster, it rubs up against my back, and it keeps rotating and getting out of position. Drove me nuts, but I kept it on because of the texture of the grip. So if you like a rubber grip, you can look into the different options, see how they feel to you. For me, the big deal is I wanted something to get rid of these dimples, uh, not dimples, but these little uh, stipled raised pieces that were digging into my back and making it uncomfortable. Little did I know, there's a company called um, Holster Partners. Holster Partners LLC, they make the packing part, and that's what this is. This is, it's a sheet of leather, and it's uh, probably about an eighth of an inch thick here. It has a piece of Velcro sewn onto the front, so you got the nice soft side on the back, the nice finished leather portion on the front. What you do with this is uh, you stick the other piece of Velcro on the skin side of your holster, the part that goes up against your body, and then stick this leather backing on so now the areas that would cause pain or discomfort when you're carrying like this sharp corner like up here where the sights are now there is a nice soft piece of leather between you and the handle or the the sights uh, and you don't have those sharp corners and for me this texture pattern is not digging into my back now so that right there is um, I didn't realize when these came in how useful they were going to be because I had the problem solved with the slip-on grip, but I hated the slip-on grip. So now I've gotten rid of the slip-on grip. I've got this nice texture, which I really like when I'm shooting because it keeps the gun securely in my hands. Uh, it doesn't move around like that pack mark grip did. Um, plus, I've got the comfort when I'm carrying of having that uh, holster partner pack and pal. You can see it right here. So with the Glock 17 in place, you see where it covers that corner on the top and bottom, so there's nothing rubbing up against my skin. That I really like. 
So, all right, we talked about the belt, we talked about the holster, we talked about making the holster more comfortable. Uh, let's talk about ammunition. So, just as it only helps to have a gun if you have it when you need it, right? That's why we have a holster, that's why we carry it, is so it's actually on you when something goes wrong and you need it. If something happens and uh, you run out of ammunition, you know, what good is having that gun? So I like to have at least one or two magazines with me whenever I'm carrying. So works, W-E-R-K-Z.com, set their mag carrier. So let, let's talk about the, this is the single mag carrier. You see it's a, a Kydex formed. It's got a couple of hollow rivets on each side and then some screws holding on the attachment point for the belt. Your belt goes straight through and it sits on there and holds a magazine. That's how it works, all right? It sits on the outside. So for concealed carry, you can see here, this isn't very concealed. This is very obvious. If I were to untuck my shirt, it actually covers it up reasonably well. All right, so that's not too bad. And you can see the holster and everything yeah. reasonably well hidden. If I get too active, you know, it's gonna get hung up and now it's kind of obvious. The single magazine carrier here, this is the double. Again, two places it's hooked to the belt and uh, gives me two magazines here. There's a little indention molded in to hold the catch to make them fairly secure when they're in there. I've got two standard 17 round Glock magazines here. Sometimes, uh, and actually uh, I had had this out for testing, this is a 17 round Glock magazine with a Pierce. This is the PG G4 Plus. It's a two round extension. Uh, I need to move this back into my EDC rotation uh, now that the testing is completed and we found that this works well. Give me a couple extra rounds. This will actually probably go in the pistol so that I'll have a full 19 plus one rounds, 20 rounds, that's pretty impressive. That, that's what I like for my EDC. I know it's big, it's bulky. A lot of people don't want to carry a full sized Glock 17. Um, that's what works for me. I have a pocket carry setup where I use a Ruger LC9S Pro and a 10 round mag in, in another pocket uh, for my uh, EDC. I have a Taurus 738. It's the very small subcompact 380 that I can carry in an appendix carry rig uh, if I really need deep concealment and that has room for the pistol on one side and a spare mag on the other. So that's how I solve the challenge of concealed carry as far as gear goes. Again, in the setup that I'm using today, Bigfoot gun belts, really like this. It's $60, folks. This isn't your $20 Walmart belt. You're not gonna find anything at Walmart or JCPenney that is gonna be sufficient for holding the weight of a full-sized handgun in a holster. Um, it's just not gonna happen. So I've got the Bigfoot gun belt, Alien Gear Holsters, Cloak Tuck 3.0, very happy with that. Holster Partners, Pack and Pal, to make it a little more comfortable. Way happier with this than I expected to be. Very, very pleased really makes it a lot more comfortable. And then the works double magazine carrier molded in Kydex here. And, and this is how I've been carrying for the last couple of weeks. It's getting cooler here. It's in November as this is being filmed. So it's cooling off here in North Carolina. And this is gonna work for me when we get to summer. Honestly, I do a lot more pocket carry with the uh, compact or subcompact at that point. But for now, this is a good cooler weather uh, set up when you've got baggy clothes and extra clothes to cover it up. Let us know what questions you have about any of these products. I'll put links in the description of this video so you can go check out or order any of these that you like. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Gun District, Tumblr. We will look forward to seeing you on the range.